Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Jonathan David uh, to review. With this card, guys, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'11", high, high work rates, right footed, three star scales, five star weak foot. So it doesn't have any skill moves. Uh, this is a card that is strictly going to be based off of hopefully some decent attacking AI. Also being able to utilize the five star weak foot as much as possible. In-game player traits, he's working with the outside foot shot traits as well as these solid player traits, in-game attributes. Uh, this is how the card is formatted. So for him, this card needs to have the, I would say the engine chemistry style, right? Because the engine chemistry style needs to improve the balance area of the card. Jonathan David, oh wait, Jonathan, Jonathan. Jonathan David, that's the one. Um, with this card, guys, on the engine chemistry style, you need to improve the pace, the dribbling, and the passing as much as possible. Now, the thing is, is that the dribbling is not going to be in a crazy good area, but it is massively improved to be in a pretty decent area for the most part, right? Because he is going to be a physical type striker, so it's not going to be someone that you want to left stick dribble too much with. Uh, you want to be able to utilize the weak foot, the positioning from time to time for you to score your opportunities, right? So he is going to have 90 finishing with an 85 for shot power. So we're going to see what that's going to be like in game um, with his passing stats, being in a good area at a five star weak foot, 89 composure, not necessarily too bad there. This is 100% the type of card that you're probably going to want to use in a two striker formation more than anything, right? Like it's probably not going to be a one striker formation thing. Although if you're okay with that play style, it wouldn't be horrible to work with. Uh, the card does have some heading ac uh, heading capabilities as well with 96 for jumping, 87 for heading accuracy. Uh, crosses is not really a play style of mine, but obviously if that's something that you like to go for, uh, then it could be a good thing for uh, certain people. He has some physical stats when it comes to his stamina and his strength as well. So some pretty interesting stuff there. For the most part, guys, for the gameplay objective cards... Uh, they don't really release like crazy cards for the most part. Like I haven't seen a crazy a gameplay objective ever since they started doing them consistently, like with summer heats back in the day and stuff. Uh, but with Jonathan David, it could be like a cheaper alternative for people to work with in that League One position, uh, League One striker position that uh, a lot of people may not have. Right. So uh, with this card in game, we're trying out this new Twitter three one four two tactic. Uh, which I don't think I did completely perfect. I might have to check that out afterwards. But yeah, we're going to be using uh, Jonathan David in the left striker position on balance instruction. So he's just going to be the one that kind of moves the way that he wants to move in game. So yeah, we'll see what he's like, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Okay. Starting off hot with my boy Jonathan David. Okay, okay. Canadian legend, mate. Hey, to be fair, he was actually making a really good run there. I don't know where that extra acceleration came from. Oh, almost got the play there, though. He was just a tiny bit quicker there. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't mind his attacking AI so far. He's making really good, like, runs, angled runs. Oh, don't do skill moves with him. <laughs> that was heavy. What a block by Virgil. I want his five-star weak for there, too. I mean, he brought out his goalkeeper, so we'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, the drag, man. No. Oh. Man, I try to get the ball roll against them, but ball rolls are, they're kind of inconsistent in this year's game. Pretty inconsistent. Hmm. 
Mm, white timed. Maybe on a green I would have scored that. Oh my goodness, man. You work all that extra space and the AI is still on top of you like crazy. It's so annoying. Let's go, Jonathan David. Well done. Creates a space for himself. Get him on a nice little green time. Good finish. You know why I chip? Because there's so many defensive AI there that I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, I might have to just chip this because if I power strike, I have to get lucky. That touch was so heavy. Oh, and I almost got the chip anyways. Oh man, I, I do the through ball. It should 100% go into the empty space at the bottom there. I don't know why this game does that. Sure. That's why uh, the five star weak foot's always helpful to have. That wasn't even a green, and he scored that. Let's go. Ah, uh, that's, that's the only problem he's going to have, right? It's just the, the settled touches and stuff. Oh, if I actually timed that run there, I've been good. Oh, I tried to do a drag back, man. What is that registration? Oh my god. <laughs> There it is. I'm telling you guys, man, five star week for a really big deal. In this game, you got a green time all your shots for consistency or else you're done messed up. There it is. Wait for those specific movements, my G. Ah, that's not the through ball I wanted. Gotta be close to his foot there. No, he did that like animation. That's not the one I want there. Those ones, uh, they can go in, but don't score them too often. Nice. I'm scoring a lot of goals with his weak foot. I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? Because he's five star weak foot. So using him on that left side is going to be super ideal because most of the cards you use in the striker position are going to be right footed. But obviously, his best position will be on that right side for sure if you have a left footed striker, which doesn't happen too often. Oh, the ball roll worked. Let's go. Yeah, the first time there should work out fine. <laughs> if I got that. Oh, I'm trying to like, you know what it is? I'm trying to do like small left sticks and then accelerate into the position, but he's not going to be the craziest at doing that. Oh, it's too close. Man. <laughs> I 
Oh, if I swore that, that would have been hilarious. There's no way he's gonna do a loop there, no chance. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Jonathan David card. So first and foremost, the high, high work rate is super obvious when it comes to his attacking AI stuff. Like, and you notice it a lot when you're using someone like Kylian Mbappe next to him, because Jonathan David, on a consistent basis, <laughs> sometimes he acts like a false nine in a way. It's really weird, right? Like he's a, a target man player that will push forward from time to time. That's the way he's going to play like in game. Um, so that's why I kept telling you guys that if you're going to be using a card like this in your team, uh, you want to do your best to line him up in a two striker formation because that part of the card is very, very obvious to work with. Now, if your play is a little bit slow, right, and you build up the play a certain way where you can kind of wait for him to make that certain run, the card's finishing is decent to work rate. The reason uh, work with the reason why I'm saying decent is because the majority of the strikes that I ended up doing really well with this card is when I green timed them. But when it was a white time shot, there was obviously less consistency, right? Because with the finishing being set up the way that it is uh, at a 90, there's moments we're going to feel like, hmm, you know, if I had a little bit more finishing stats, shot power, it, it could have definitely been a very beneficial thing. Now, the thing about this card is that you know, technically speaking, you could make him a lengthy player by giving him that architect lengthy chemistry style or the the architect chemistry style to make him a lengthy player. But that's if you're about that sort of play style, right? When he kind of makes that those certain runs, right? So if that's something that you want to work with, you can. The thing is, though, guys, right, is that even though he's good at doing those runs, it's not necessarily a play style of his, right? Because of the high, high work rate. So what I personally recommended a lot, not really unless you play very linear FIFA, very linear, boring counterattack meta, park the bus, rat tactics, right? Then sure, you give him again and behind instruction, that's all you go for, right? But with a card like Giroud, it's a little bit different because he's a high medium work rate card, which is very noticeable when you give him that Hunter chemistry style, right? So the work rate kind of works to that lengthy a little bit more. Now, like I said, you can make him uh, a lengthy as well. Do I think it's super beneficial? Not necessarily. I think the engine chemistry style is definitely going to be uh, the best choice for this car because giving him a little bit of dribbling capabilities to get into the right positions at the right time uh, is definitely going to be more of a beneficial thing to work for, right? So nothing too crazy about this card, but uh, as a gameplay objective that you get for free, you could definitely make him work for sure. Like I said, the five star weak foot is definitely a massive deal. Um, if you play around that attacking AI of his while having someone that's more aggressive next to him, uh, it's definitely going to be a usable card to work with in your team, especially if you ended up getting that gameplay objective way a card as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.